Doing apprenticeship in engineering itself is so varied. Um, there's so many different things you can do. Sort of day to day on the job, you get a mixture of your off job training. Um, so you're doing your, your theory modules and you're learning about the equipment that you're going to be working on. And then you've got time to go out on site and put that into practice uh, and get the skills you need to match your theory so that by the end of the three years, uh, you're fully qualified. Really, for me personally, it's the variety that the job can offer on a daily basis, especially the apprenticeship in itself is broken down into experience out on patch where you're with a mentor so you're experiencing live jobs actually out in the field and then that's combined with the theory based training that we receive here at the academy. Um, it's a career change. Um, I've had, I've been working in a call centre before previously and um, it was getting quite repetitive because um, I'd been there for a few years it was very much I knew what I was doing, I knew what I was doing every day um, the apprenticeship for me is completely different. I'm doing different things every day, I'm learning new skills. It's about not having an office job really because the variety of equipment that we work on in our job is, well good, it's very varied so you're not working on the same thing every day and leaves you very little time to get bored. Um, engineering is a good um, career to be in because of the prospects that it gives you. Like saying that I'm doing an apprenticeship but I hope to go on to do full engineering in the future which we can do by doing HNCs and things like that. You can progress from your apprenticeship and like to become a technician onto your engineer level and if you're lucky enough to have an apprenticeship or have an apprenticeship with National Good like I do, um, you'll be given lots of opportunities and lots of support to get to where you want to as long as you're willing to put the work in. Well, not only do you get the hands-on experience that you don't get by just going to college, it also helps you build a lot of confidence dealing with different people and different situations and different scenarios. And it is the best way to learn because it's all very well learning the theory of something. Unless you put it into practice, it's no good at all. Compared to my old job, it's learning something new. So every day I learn something new and then say that like at the end of the week when we do our exams, I feel like I've accomplish something by learning something new. Before I was a, a duty manager at the co-op for four years so from what I'm doing now it's a lot more hands-on and practical. It was mainly about starting a career. Uh, doing an apprenticeship is a good way to, or a good basis to start off. In July of last year I actually uh, took redundancy from a 22-year career within a building society environment and it was really important for myself to find a role that could offer me sort of diversity and a variety on a daily basis. I didn't want to be desk bound anymore and I wanted to meet people because that's where my key strengths are on a, on a daily basis so um, this was the role for me really and that's why I uh, applied for the job and was fortunate enough to get it.